Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I decided to do a little Dead Cells Any% Percent tutorial. Uh, so at first we're going to see all the background preparation for submitting an official run. Then we will uh, do a little run overview of the run. I'm going to do a little demo uh, while explaining uh, uh, while explaining what you have to do during a run a little slowly. And then I will comment uh, two runs with uh, two different routes. So you will choose uh, the one you like. Okay, for the first preparation, we are for the first preparation of uh, an official run. We're going to come back to Windows, go to Firefox or uh, your uh, browser of choice. You will want to go to the Dead Cells uh, speedrun.com page of Dead Cells. You go to resources. I was already on resources, and you want to download a 100% save file, which have all the, which have all the, the weapon of locks, all the random locks at as a, it's written here. Any of the those save files will works. I will just uh, download this one. I'm gonna save the file. I'm going to go to my downloading folder. I'm going to extract the file. Extract here. Here it is. I'm going to rename the file so I'm sure this is the right one. 100 save file. I had already one so I'm going to call it uh, 2. I'm going to copy it and then what you want to do is uh, to go to your local disk, uh, program files, steam, user data. Uh, this is your uh, steam id, uh, for me it is this one. You go to 588.650, this is the dead cell folder, remote, then you paste the save file. Then you want what you want to do is to replace one of those uh, user dot that uh, save file. Let's say the user zero file. So I'm going to delete it and rename the 100% save file to user zero. User zero. Let's go. And then when coming back to the game, the game should uh, recognize the save file. And here we go. Uh, if the game doesn't recognize the save file, if it says something like uh, save file incompatible with game version, just close and uh, open back the game. Okay, that's it for the save file. Uh, let's go for main menu options. Uh, first, you want to go to options here, then gameplay, and you want the permanent timer to be enabled. Uh, usually it will be the default timer, so you have to get the permanent timer on. You want to have uh, the lower rooms deactivated, so you have to get this thing enabled. You want to display seed AD. Um, uh, and that's it for the gameplay options. Uh, you want to go to video, and you want to Disable these things. It will be important for one item of the of the of the build. Also, you want. Uh, uh, I can't remember where it is. I think it's gameplay. Yeah, you want to activate uh, Steam Cloud the synchronization. Actually, before setting the save file. Yeah, if you you don't manage to save the to set the save file, that's may mean you don't have a uh, Steam Cloud synchronization on. Okay, now we're going to set a custom settings, for, a custom setting for your our runs, a custom preset I mean. So you go for a default preset. I have uh, mine already set, but uh, I'm going to do another one uh, uh, for demonstration. Let's uh, use this one first, this one. Uh, to to recognize it, you can uh, rename it like uh, any percent sucks. Then 
you want to go to equipment and uh, the build for the run you want uh, as a uh, current patch on uh, uh, what time are it on april uh, 2021 you want to have war javelin assault shield um light speed and wings of the crow Okay, for for other return, you basically you you may want to just uh, enable all of, all of this. Uh, for the mutation, you can disable some mutations so to save a little of time, but uh, no nothing uh, really important. Okay, for uh, advanced op no, you want to go to advanced options. You want to disable recycling tubes, disable special showroom. So you don't have uh, extra room on the run. Uh, if you enable permanent timer on the main menu option, you don't have to do it here. But uh, for uh, for security, we we will uh, enable here, enable it here. And uh, for everything else, everything else, uh, you want to have uh, nothing uh, checked here. If uh, you're a beginner, and that's it for the custom uh, setting up options okay now uh, for it's uh, optional but uh, if you want you can install like split so we're going back to windows to firefox you go to the light split uh, website uh, you can uh, type it on google or i will put the link on the description you download light split you save the file you go to your downloading folder uh, you extract the files and the light split will be on this folder uh, you can uh, do a, a link to the your desktop so you can open it uh, more easily and here it is you open light split and you just have a timer at first but uh, what you can do now is uh, to download uh, already set splits for your runs so you're going to do right click edit splits you're going to type uh, dead cells you select dead cells you select uh, any percent wireless on the list and what you can do uh for just uh, for the moment you press ok uh open splits from speedrun.com you search for dead cells and you go for in the list for dead cells any percent workplace because this is an any percent tutorial and you just download uh, the splits you 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 want uh you can download uh, for example uh, the henpaku's one and uh, for not having a hand pack with time, you select download empty and download. Uh, just select yes here and you can just uh, uh, save the, the splits and you have your splits. Uh, you can, uh, for example, you can edit your layout uh, for it being uh, more f more uh, less ugly let's say for example splits i'm gonna reduce the number of splits and it's uh, better like that also if you don't if you don't like uh, those names you can just go to edit splits uh, and uh, rename the splits for example uh, prisoner quarters etc etc uh, I'm not going to use light splits for this tutorial, so but uh, now you want to, uh, you know how to do that. Okay, I'm going to close light splits. I don't want to save that. And here we go.